I love Britney Spears. She is definitely a consummate performer, but she's been in the news quite a bit lately for a lot of her problems. Well, we're gonna put all of that aside today and we're gonna talk about plastic surgery. What do I think she's had done? Before we get started, I need to emphasize that I'm not Britney Spears' doctor. I've never treated her, so everything that I'm gonna talk about on this video today is my opinion. So let's get started. So let's start back in 1999 when Britney was only 18 years old. She had done the Mickey Mouse Club and you may have seen her back then, but this is after she had made her huge debut in pop music. And if you take a look at this photo of her, you can see she is fresh faced, she looks great. Take a peek at her breasts. Now in a Rolling Stone interview, her mom, Lynn Spears, admitted that when Britney was in her teens, she underwent a breast augmentation. And supposedly this was done because they thought that stars of her age at that time should have this type of thing done. But reportedly she later regretted it because she actually hadn't stopped growing at the time she had her breast implants placed. So it definitely makes sense that this photo of her back in 99, when she is 18, does show her breast implants. If you take a close look at her teeth, her teeth are blindingly white. I believe at some point before this, she probably had veneers placed, giving her her pearly white, perfect teeth. So now let's fast forward three years to 2002. She is now 21 years old. She is a huge star around the world. And let's take a peek at her nose. Now I do believe that at some point between 1999 and 2002, Brittany may have undergone her first nose job or rhinoplasty. Her nose definitely looks a bit thinner, it looks more refined, and maybe even a little shorter. Overall, I think it's quite subtle and it's a very, very good job. Now let's fast forward five years to 2007. Well, 2007 was a big year for Britney in the tabloids, unfortunately, because this was a year that she shaved her head. She had had a lot of problems with the paparazzi stalking her, and I think anybody in that position would have had some issues with it and would have acted out in some way. And when we take a look at this photo of her from 2007, she's 26 years old, she's still on top of the world, she's a huge pop star, and she looks fantastic. Is it possible at this time she had already started undergoing injections of Botox, maybe a touch of filler? Possibly, but if so, it's not super obvious. So let's fast forward to 2012. Britney is now 31 years old, so she's no longer in her 20s. And I do believe this around this time is when she started undergoing injections of Botox uh, and possibly filler. Now it's possible she may have had some Botox in her glabella, which is to smooth any frown lines. It's also possible that she may have had some injections of filler into her cheeks and into her lips. Now she's had some injections at this time, they're pretty subtle. Uh, so if she's having anything done, it's not super clear yet. Now let's take a peek at another photo from around that same time in 2012. And I'd like to have you focus on her breasts. Her chest actually looks a little bit smaller. And this is consistent with reports from Rolling Stone magazine with that interview with her mom, Lynn Spears, that at some point Brittany had her implants taken out. So I do believe that she underwent an explant of her breast implants sometime in the past five years from this photo. So if Brittany did indeed have her breast implants taken out, uh, I really wanna commend her on taking a step to further her health. Now there are so many people in Hollywood who have breast implants placed, not necessarily because they want them, but maybe like in her case, because they felt they were supposed to have them. And the fact that she may have had them taken out, I think is actually a really good thing. Now let's move ahead to 2015. Brittany is 34 years old, and now we're definitely seeing some changes in her face and definitely in her body. Now in 2014, Brittany did an interview with InStyle Magazine where she did admit to having injections of filler and possibly Botox into her face. And we can see that in this photo. Her lips do look a bit plumped. They do have that characteristic kind of pouty look that we often see with people who have lip injections of filler. Also, her cheeks look a bit fuller, and that could be due to injections of a filler in her cheeks as well, possibly a filler like Juvederm Voluma or Restylane Lift. Her forehead is also super smooth, and this could be the result of really well-performed injections of Botox. One year later, we're definitely seeing some of these changes in her face. It does appear that she's had some Botox into the upper face to help smooth the wrinkles of her forehead and her frown lines. 
Once again, her cheeks look a bit plumped up, possibly due to injections of filler, and her lips also look like they've been plumped up with a filler as well. Now, if you take a look at her in 2016 at the age of 35, and you compare it to 2007 at the age of 26, you can definitely see those changes when they're right next to each other. Now let's fast forward to 2019. She's 38 years old, and we're seeing once again some of these changes that I believe are due to injectable filler. I think we're also seeing some natural aging changes. Some may be premature because we do know that she has smoked at times uh, throughout her lifetime. And smoking is one of the worst things that you can do to your skin as far as overall aging and really to your health. Now if you compare her nose from 2019 in this photo to back in 2012, I also think it's possible she may have undergone a second rhinoplasty or nose job. Her nose looks just slightly thinner, a bit more refined, and I do think it's possible that this was the second time she's gone under the knife for her nose. And if we stay on these two photos, you can definitely see the difference between her cheeks and her lips from 2012 to 2019. In 2019, her cheeks look a little bit plumper and her lips definitely look plumper. This is not the natural aging process. Usually the lips and the cheeks get thinner, not fuller as you get older. Now let's take a peek at a whole body shot from her back at the same time in 2019. And I'll tell you, I think she looks fantastic. She's had a couple of children, she's undergone a lot of ups and downs in her life, and it's nice to see her looking happy in these photographs. Once again, I do think this photo is consistent with having had breast implants removed, and I'm happy for her if she has gotten her body back to kind of that natural state that hopefully makes her happiest. Overall, a lot of people claim that they think Britney's had a ton of stuff done from having facelifts to brow lifts to eyelid lifts. But in the end, I believe that she's had one or two nose jobs. She's had some injectable filler. Sounds like she may have had her breast implants put in and taken out. And maybe that's about it. And speaking of nose jobs, who do I think has the best nose job in Hollywood? Take a peek at this video right up here where I count down my top five Hollywood nose jobs. Some of these just might shock you. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.